world around us is changing fast, and in particular, the threats we face and the behaviours of some states and non-state actors means that we are operating in a much more unstable, uncertain period. So for the Royal Air Force, change is an absolute necessity and the integrated review gives us a great mandate and the funding to make the leap forward that we need to. most excited about on Typhoon at the moment is the game-changing capability that Radar 2 is going to afford. So uh, at the moment we have uh, what's called a mechanical scan radar, so that's kind of 80s to 90s technology. So uh, the world is moving on now with its technology in terms of uh, electronic scanned radars. So the game change they give us is in the air-to-air -air and air-to-service capability. So in terms of air-to-service capability, that will mean we can uh, strike targets in all weathers using just our radar. Uh, in terms of air-to-air, -air, it gives us uh, high resilience against electronic attacks which our adversaries are developing, so uh, in terms of jamming capability and also reliability and cost. So the new radar that's going to go in, it doesn't have any mechanical moving parts, so it's a lot more reliable and a lot more powerful. So uh, yeah, we're excited. 2025 is what we've been coded for uh, Radar 2 coming into service. Radar 2 itself on Typhoon will be uh, fused into our Link 16 network, which all uh, our NATO allies fly on. So that Link 16 network, the information that we can gather with our Radar 2 can then be disseminated to all other people who are flying in that mission, all of the fighter platforms that are flying the mission, as well as other airborne assets as well. The government has stated clearly that it is our intention to buy 138 through the life of the programme. So we're going to be flying uh, F-35s and buying F-35s potentially for decades. It will be in service with HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales until at least the 2060s. At the moment, we are, we are, we've got 48 on order. The integrated review has, has said that we will continue to build the force. We need to build the force to be able to operate from our carriers and from land bases. And, and the F-35 is a, is a fantastic aircraft, which is, which, which is game-changing in itself because of the technologies it brings. A strategic investment for the United Kingdom is the future combat air system. So the aircraft and, and, uh, and, and system of uh, air flying platforms that will replace Typhoon in about 20 years time, you know, that, that's 6.6 .6 billion of uh, research and development uh, funds that have been ring fenced. Well, the, the, the Tempest and the future combat air system will be a, an essential part of that. And that is, that is the future of the Royal Air Force. We're already bringing more automation, more remote piloting craft into our uh, front line. So we've got a swarming drone squadron. We are on. Uh, we've uh, let a contract to develop our loyal wingman, so a, a robot flying a, an aircraft that flies in formation with Typhoon and Lightning this decade, and then in future on the wing of, of Tempest. So. The force mix that we have become used to over the last three decades of, of human beings sat in cockpits, well, by the end of the, this decade, that will already have changed. And by 2040, I, I could envisage a Royal Air Force where 80% of the platforms that we fly don't have a human in them.